We tend to use switch statements a lot in our projects. Of course, they exist for a good reason, but most of the times you can replace switch statements with polymorphism. Polymorphism is more object-oriented compared to a switch statement. You can always keep switch statements, but most of the times just for basic operations. Maximum two lines for each case and four cases in total. More than that, consider using polymorphism. Again, the main reason behind this technique is to make your code more clear and easier to extend in the future. So the concept for this application that we are going to build is that we have a restaurant that take orders for different types of food. In the next video, we are going to see a solution to this problem and we are going to, of course, use polymorphism and extend the application to make it uh, like an online application when you can order different types of uh, different types of food. So I will start by creating a new class and I will call this restaurant. Okay. So in this restaurant class, we need to order, right? So I'm going to have an order function. This is going to take a type and inside here, I'm going to use a switch statement for each type. So we have the type and then case Chinese. So if we have, if the client wants Chinese, then we are going to call a number. So let's say 9001111. So this is the number for the Chinese restaurant. And then this sushi. So in case the client wants Chinese, then we are going to call this number and the restaurant will cook some sushi for us. In case we have an Albanian, so we need a break here. In case we have an Albanian cuisine, so Albanian, then we want to call a different number. Let's say 066 six, and then 11111. Of course, you can change your cuisine here. In my case, it will be Albania since I'm Albanian, but yeah, whatever. So in case we want some Albanian food, let's say Tav Kosi. Okay, so another break here and we are done. So this is our order, right? So this is how we can order. Of course, we need uh, the call and the sushi function. So let's do that. Call this expects and phone number. And let's just echo calling phone number and a new line. Oops. Okay. Like that. The other one, of course, is the sushi. For this one, I will just say echo cooking some sushi with a new line again. And the last one, of course, is the tab cosy. So these are just some functions that they, you know, they have some predefined values, right? Because we echo here sushi because this is a sushi function. Uh, so in case we want to make it more general, more generic, we have to do some other stuff that we are going to see in the next video, of course. So change the text and this is done. So this is our little restaurant class. Now in the index, of course, we have to include the restaurant Otherwise, this will not work. And let's create a new restaurant. Okay. And let's make an order. Let's say Chinese. So if I go to my terminal to run this, of course, we are going to get back, you know, calling this number and then cooking some sushi, right? And of course, you can change this to the other cuisine, so Albanian and it will call the other number and cook some tav kosi. So this is how you do this with a switch statement, right? And okay, it's fine because at this moment we just have uh, two cases and we do have two functions though that to be honest with you, they should not be here. We should have this more generic uh, by passing maybe to the restaurant the type of food that we want, but then we have to deal with some uh, if statements here because if we try, for example, to uh, to ask for sushi, let's say, 
and we are ordering through the Albanian cuisine, this will not work. So we need some if statements there in order to make sure that we avoid some, uh, you know, some mistakes in our, in our application. In general, though, this is not wrong, this is correct, it will still work, it actually does work, but as I said, the code is not that good, because if you want to extend this, it will be very, very difficult. On the other side, of course, if you have another case here, uh, let's say that we have vegan, you have to copy this, uh, you know, have the vegan case and then have the new number and then have the, the vegan food that the client wants. So yeah, well, this will get very, very messy very, very quickly if you want to add another type of cuisine. So we do not want to use a switch statement, especially in this type of application, because it will get messy, I swear. <laughs> anyway, so in the next video, we are going to see the solution to this problem.